Hello everyone. Welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 27. Today's lesson is Animal Kingdom Phylum Arthropoda. I'm Rithrisha from GK Today and I'll be taking you through this. Arthropoda is the largest phylum of animal kingdom because around two-thirds of all the named species on earth belong to this phylum. Ants, mosquitoes, flies, cockroaches, shrimps, scabs, spiders, scorpions, etc. are examples of arthropods. There are three main classes of arthropods, uh, insects, crustaceans and arachnids. Insects include mosquito, cockroaches, ants, flies, bees, moths, grasshoppers, beetles and butterflies and many more. Crustaceans include crabs, lobsters, shrimps, barnacles, etc. Arachnids include scorpions, spiders, mites, etc. Further, a few other classes are onychophorans or velvet worms, diplopods or millipedes and chylopods or centipedes. Now key features are members of this phylum are invertebrates. They have exoskeleton made of chitin, segmented body and arculated or jointed legs. Other key features include molting in arthropods. Due to the presence of exoskeleton, the growth of arthropods is periodical. During the growth period, the animal loses the exoskeleton, grows and develops a new exoskeleton. This process is called ecdysis or molting. We should note here that uh, in arthropods, the exoskeleton has a covering of a layer of waterproof wax. This feature is fundamental in allowing primitive arthropods from the sea to survive on dry land without losing excessive water to the environment. They also have malefican tube, uh, malefican tubules. Another key feature of arthropoda is that the excretion in these animals takes place through these malefican tubules. Also, extracorporeal digestion. Um, so, arachnids like scorpions, spiders, and mites inject poison to paralyze or kill their prey by using structures called uh, chelicerae. The prey is partially digested outside the body of the arachnid by digestive enzymes injected together with the venom or afterwards. After this excorporeal digestion, they eat and digest their prey. Coming to respiration. In crustaceans such as crabs, lobsters, shrimps and barnacles, gills are found for respiration. In terrestrial insects, respiration is tracheal whereby gases flow inside small tubes on animals' external surface. Further, in arachnids like scorpions, spiders and mites, they have so-called book lungs, each of a pair of respiratory organs composed of many fine lamellae. They are situated in the abdomen and have openings on the underside. They may also exist to aid in respiration. Blood circulation in arthropods. Now all arthropods have a heart. The respiratory system is open or lacunar. A blood in them is known as hemolymph and is pumped by the heart and enters into cavities or these lacunas, irrigating and draining tissues. In place of hemoglobin, they have respiratory, uh, respiratory pigment called hemocyanin. Uh, also, we should note that although the circulatory system of insects works at a very slow sluggish pace, they are able to perform extremely fast and exhaustive movements because of separation of circulatory system from respiration. Gas exchange is carried out with great speed and efficiency by the tracheal system that puts cells in direct contact with air. Muscles can then work fast and hard. Embryonic development. In crustaceans, some species undergo direct development whereas others undergo indirect development. In insects, some species do not have a larval stage whereas others go through indirect development beginning with an egg stage followed by a nymph stage. Moreover, other insects go through indirect development beginning with a larval stage. The transformation of larva into an adult insect is called metamorphosis. So uh, two types of metamorphosis are common like in grasshoppers, crickets, dragonflies and cockroaches. They have incomplete metamorphosis. Their youngs, which are called nymphs, usually look like small adults but without wings. 
whereas butterflies moths beetles flies and bees have complete metamorphosis they're young which are called larva are very different from the adults uh, they usually eat different type of food there are four stages in the metamorphosis of butterflies moths etc uh, they are born from egg, then they go to larva, then become pupa and then finally come out as adults. Also some insects such as butterflies and silk moth larva make cocoon um, or pupa where they live until transforming into an adult. The period during which larva is uh, within the cocoon is a time of intense biological activity since the larva is being transformed into an adult insect. Main differences between the classes of arthropods. Now, wings are found only in insects. Uh, there are no wings in crustaceans and arachnids. Crustaceans have two pairs of antennae. Insects have one, whereas arachnids do not have antennae at all. Crustaceans and arachnids, the head is fused with the thorax to form the cephalothorax. Their body is therefore divided into cephalothorax and abdomen whereas in insects they have head thorax and abdomen separately now most crustaceans have five pair of limbs insects have three pairs whereas arachnids have four pairs of limbs that's all for this tutorial if you like this please subscribe to our youtube channel gk today until the next tutorial goodbye